Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, so you guys know what that mean memes. Okay. So we have another tale coming from the Pissy Pied Piper. So what's going down now is that Andrea, I'm still using R. Kelly's last name because it benefits me out here in Hollywood as opposed to going back to my maiden name even though I was abused and, you know, tied up to the side of the bed and all that good shit, I'm still going to use the last name Kelly. Anyhow, she decided to do an interview with Inside Edition and she's calling R. Kelly a monster. She's claiming that R. Kelly tied her up to the side of the bed. Honey, she's crying those tattooed tears. She's trying to get her story heard by anybody who's willing to give her a platform, okay? She's out here looking like Kitty Jones 2.0. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this interview and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. I believe I can fly. Singer R. Kelly's former wife says her ex is pure evil. He's definitely a monster. In an exclusive interview with Inside Edition, Andrea Kelly accuses the singer of domestic abuse during their 10-year marriage. They have three children. I often say that I spent 10 years being married, but I don't know what it's like to be a wife. She says one night in particular is burned in her memory. You've been hogtied? Yes. You were tied up? Yes. Physically tied Tied up. up and left on the side of a bed and he went to sleep. Andrea says she decided to speak out after several women came forward to denounce the singer for allegedly holding them against their will in a cult-like living arrangement. She also posted this video on her website. What was supposed to be my big beautiful mansion ultimately became my prison. Andrea met Kelly when she was a dancer choreographer. After they married, Andrea says she couldn't leave their Chicago home without R. Kelly's permission. She says she had to call him daddy. If she forgot, the punishment was serious. Physical, sometimes yelling, screaming, throwing things at you. She says reaching out to a domestic abuse hotline gave her the courage to take her children and leave. She had just $2,500 and a duffel bag. It really was like a scene out of a movie, like we drove off into the sunset. And I never went back. We were unable to reach R. Kelly for comment, but previous... All right, so you guys just saw that video of Andrea. I'm still going to use R. Kelly's last name. Anyhow, I'm not buying what she's selling me, okay? You know, we all know R. Kelly has his issues. We all know he's a damn, you know, demon in disguise. He's done a lot of just, you know, horrible shit. But I'm not feeling this messenger whatsoever, okay? Because for years, this woman sat by. Even as recently as a year ago, you guys can watch my first Andrea Kelly video. She was cussing out anybody who brought stuff up to her about R. Kelly, who asked her opinion on R. Kelly and all these girls and, all, you know, these girls coming out. She was going off on folks, even demanding that folks go and see R. Kelly in concert because it keeps her lights and her bills paid. Let me go ahead and refresh your memory. feels good and keep going to his concerts and buying them tickets and them CDs. Boo, that keeps my lights on, girl. Honey, it ain't free out here. What? Y'all telling me what he is doing in his life, who cares? I mean, that he can do whatever the fuck he want to do in his life. That's his life. Um, I don't understand why people like to spread venom. I'm quick to say how y'all don't like my ex and he this and he that, but then your dumb ass will get up and spread the same bullshit. So I find it funny that less than a year ago, she was Team R. Kelly. But now all of a sudden, she's on this whole bow tour to basically throw him under the bus. She's trying to distance herself from R. Kelly because she knows this shit is about to hit the fan. And for that, I cannot respect it, okay? If you could not speak up back when these young girls were being abused, were being held captive, don't come trying to speak up now, okay? If you could be silent through the whole, you know, the ex-wives of Hollywood, whatever the hell that damn show was that she was on, she got on that show because of R. Kelly. If you could be silent and keep all these secrets back then, then you just need to stay silent. At this point in time, I'm tired of Andrea Kelly going from platform to platform, crying and trying to tell her story. Like I told y'all, she's giving me Kitty Jones tease, and I feel like, you know, she may have been involved in some shit, and she's trying to distance herself now. And what better way to distance yourself than to throw him all the way under the bus and then now try and play like you're 100% victim in this. I refuse to believe that she did not know what her husband was doing. I refuse to believe that she 
she had no idea any of this bullshit was going on. This entire situation is really disturbing and more and more stuff is coming out about R. Kelly, but I'm not buying none of her tears because she stood by for years and she made money and she ate and she lived off of his legacy. And now that all that shit is drying up, now she has an issue, okay? And the worst part is that now she's using this hobo R. Kelly tour to make more money to sell her books, to get her face out there, to get her name back in the press. And I don't respect that whatsoever. I don't think there's anything genuine about what she's saying. Yes, she's crying tears. I'm sure she went through a lot of abuse. I'm sure she went through a lot of shit. But the way she's going about it, especially when just a year ago, she was okay with the situation. She was going off on folks about the situation. But now it's funny that all of this stuff is coming out about R. Kelly, this criminal investigation. This man might end up going to jail. So now she's going on this hobo tour to basically separate herself from her ex-husband, meanwhile still carrying his last name. Even though the abuse was that bad, you're still choosing to keep the last name named Kelly. Okay, girl. Okay, so now in other pissy Pied Piper news. Now, if you guys remember a month ago, I had reported about Wendy Williams. You know, she's a friend to our show. You know, she may not acknowledge me, but she stays in my damn analytics watching everything I do here on YouTube. Hey, girl, we see you. How you doing? Anyhow, so I reported a month ago that she was on her stage, honey, boo-hooing and crying over the damn pissy Pied Piper. She was in tears talking about how R. Kelly couldn't read. He couldn't write. He couldn't do math. He couldn't fly. Basically, he couldn't do shit. But guess what? He couldn't molest and fuck, okay? That's one thing R. Kelly can't do. He might not be able to read, write, or do arithmetic, but he sure does know how to sling his peen around like damn Tic Tacs, okay? So anyways... After, you know, that video went viral, she started getting a lot of backlash from people. Then she asked her audience if they'd be willing to, you know, watch a show with her interviewing R. Kelly, okay? Now, I'm not R. Kelly fan, but you know what? I'm here for it, bitch, okay? Because I want to know what the hell he has to say for himself. Anyways, her sponsors were not having it. They were not feeling the direction of the show. And they basically had a long conversation with Wendy Williams. I'm going to go ahead and read to you what the Daily Mail is saying. Check this out. So the Daily Mail is saying that Wendy Williams is backpedaling on her support for R. Kelly and her criticism of the Me Too movement after sponsors threatened to pull out of her show. The often controversial talk show queen spoke out last month in support of the R&B singer who has been accused of various forms of sexual misconduct and has two pending lawsuits from women who accused him of giving them STDs. Williams even asked her audience if they would be offended if she invited the singer onto her show, then publicly urged her management team to make it happen. An insider has told the DailyMail.com that the show's syndication company, D-Bar and Murray, were shocked and dismayed by the direction Wendy Williams was taking during the segment. The company executives allegedly begged her to tone down support for R. Kelly after advertisers began threatening to jump ship. Mm, honey, this tea's good, okay? So when it came down to it, Wendy is wishy-washy as hell. So she done went from crying about R. Kelly to basically saying, R. Kelly, uh, I can't help you, bro. You on your own, okay? Because once those sponsors start threatening her damn money, she had to reevaluate her damn life, okay? Is it worth losing everything I worked hard for to R. Kelly? Or should I just keep on doing me? And that's exactly what Wendy Williams is choosing to do. So she would not be interviewing R. Kelly. She would not have R. Kelly on his stage. And, you know, to this day, R. Kelly still can't read, write, do arithmetic, or I believe he can't fly either but you know let him tell it he can fly anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know what you guys think about this messy ass pie piper situation first concerning his ex-wife andrea i refuse to give r kelly back his last name kelly going on to inside edition crying tattoo tears saying that r kelly abused her are you guys buying this or do you feel like she's now trying to distance herself she's pulling a kitty jones because she may be low-key more involved than we know and then also let me know what you guys think about wendy williams messy ass basically stating that she wants to have r kelly on the show and that she stood by r kelly and broke down crying only to then change her stance once the sponsors threaten to pull the plug from her show, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.